In this video, we will plot the Antlia constellation. Antlia is one of the 88 IAU designated constellations in the southern hemisphere. It covers an area of 238.9 square degrees and ranks 62nd in the 88 modern constellations by the area. Now what we will be doing here is we will try to replicate this figure here using the right ascension and declination of the stars for the Antlia constellation uh, like so. These are the designations, the Alpha, uh, the Epsilon, Eta, uh, Theta, Zeta 1, Zeta 2, Delta and Iota. So these are the pair designations of the stars in the constellation which we can find down here in this box. So we will go through these stars and we will uh, take their right ascension and declination and then we will try to plot these in uh, Python using matplotlib. We will need the right ascension, the declination and the uh, names of the stars or the bare designations of these stars. So I have put that put that down in the Python script already. I have the names of the stars of the Antlia constellation, the right ascension and the declination of it as well. And here I have grouped the right ascension and declination into a single list. Now to draw the figure we have to import the matplotlib library. Now we can draw the figure and let's take the figure size to be square 10 by 10, 10 um, figure. Let's do the editor show as well. And now we will run this uh, file like so. So we have a 10 by 10 figure here. Add a grid to it. Now what we want to do is we want to place the stars by their right ascension and declination. To plot the right ascension and declination we can use a for, li for loop. Let's set the marker uh, to be a star. So we can see the stars and the marker size to be 10. Okay, that should do it. Now let's try it out. So we have these stars. Uh, they do not have any um, uh, labels as of yet. Now we will add the annotations to this plot so we can know where which star is plotted. So for that we can use for loop again. Uh, star names right ascension declination and we can do plt dot annotate um, txt raw tech and then let's see okay we do have the annotations however they are uh, very close to one another so what we'll do is we will try to insert a little offset to the right ascension and declination values we have. So we can do that separately. We will add the offset of 0.2 to the right ascension and declination as well. And we will now use the modified right ascension declination. So we can see we, uh, oops, that's a little too much. Let's reduce the offset here. Mm, let's change the name so we don't have repeated names. That's fine if we look here 
you can see that the iota uh, star is on the left side and the epsilon star is on the right side whereas this is um, opposite to that so what we can do about that if we can make use of pld dot gca dot invert x-axis what this will do is it will invert the x-axis and then we can also do a type layout now if we do that so we have the iota over here and the epsilon star over here alpha delta and all of these are now on the position on the same position as the uh, wikipedia image now what we have to do is we have to some draw these two lines uh, between iota alpha and uh, alpha and epsilon so for that we can define a function to draw the lines so here i have defined a function uh, draw line that will take in the coordinates uh, the right ascension and declination of the uh, constellation uh, which i have paired up here and then it will we will tell it to uh, use the start index and stop index to take the initial and final coordinates and then the color of the line blue so let's try that out draw line the coordinates uh, will be antlia and the starting index from we have to go from iota to alpha so this is iota which is the final con final uh, index that can be used as minus one and then this is alpha which is the zeroth index so we can do this and stop index is zero the other line is to be drawn from um, the alpha to the epsilon so we have zero and we have two over here stop index is two now if we run this so we have the um, lines drawn here as well let's add the uh, x-axis and y-axis labels as well So we have our Antlia constellation. As a final touch, we can add a title to the figure as well. And then save the figure. close the figure as well so now if we go to our folder we have the clear constellation saved as a PDF file as well so thank you for watching